good morning on I don't even know how many days in our isolation period but I decided I'm going to start blogging or sending out these little um, videos to my clients just to keep you busy and I want you to stay busy during this time and I'm going to show you how you know my sign at the beginning of the garden how I just have it on hooks I'm going to show you this video on how you can make at your house, I want you to start making little vignettes of succulents. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this stick and what I've already done um, over here in Mr. Clydesdale's over the workbench. You guys all know it very well. This is what I'm going to create only on a smaller scale. You know that little metal tray that I have, that rusted tray? All this is, you guys, is sphagnum moss with some twigs in it and then cuttings, clippings. So the same clippings that we used in your wreaths when you made them, I did sort of the same thing in the birdhouses and you know the mailbox. This is never with any dirt in it. So I just wanna show you through that stick on Mr. Clydesdale's just um, get you busy. Because I, I know that everyone's having their own trying times right now. So I did the same thing with this birdhouse. You, you guys haven't seen this yet either. And I know that um, I've heard from a couple of you that your verticals are looking sparse. And your wreaths. And you need to just get in your yard and clip some of the babies underneath. And I've shown you all how to do that. Clip them and then um, stick them in and fill them up, you guys. Just fill them up. That's what I did with this one. I know the light's wrong. Let's see if I can pull this. Can you see it? A little bit better. But any little area, some of the birds around here are using the vertical garden too to get their little um, nest fillers or whatever they're doing. Um, here's this one in here again. I know it's bright, but just fill it up. So anyway, I'm going to show you how to do it. Here's the other birdhouse. I'm going to show you how to do it with pictures. So when I'm done um, with this stick that I'm going to fill with succulents, first thing I'm going to get is a little bit of wire, uh, chicken wire. Then I'm going to fill it up with the sphagnum moss. Then I'm going to clip away in the garden and I'm going to use this for the base to create a nice little drooping thing over Mr. Clyde's hill. Anyway, stay tuned. Love you guys. Bye. Okay, so what I did, you saw the flap down. I filled it up with the sphagnum and then I just rolled it into itself. And then because the chicken wire will just hook it into itself to seal it. So let me show you from the side. So see, you just have a tube. That's all you have. And now I'm gonna start planting. So this is kind of fun. I'm trying to find any, you know, nook or cranny that I can apply this technique to. And I bet you guys have a lot at your house. Anyway, part three to come. Well, I'm done and it probably took me half an hour, but because this is such a small project, you guys, seriously, this is just clippings. You can't use a mature plant on this. Everything is just clipped from underneath a larger succulent that I have in the garden. Sticks, sphagnum moss, and um, clippings. And one thing I didn't talk about in the video were the pins, the uh, floral pins that you, you will need for this. I'm leaning over to get them. Here they are. Just get some floral pans. You can get them online as well if you don't have any. If you've taken my class, you probably have some. Um, the other thing I did do that I didn't show you is that I, once I folded the uh, chicken wire into itself, I did wire it. It got too heavy. I actually had to start over a little bit. Um, it does get a little bit heavy. So to water, just check your sphagnum moss periodically and when it's moist, you don't need to water it. When it starts to get real brittle and dry like hay, like I've always showed you on the wreaths that we make and the uh, vertical gardens, 
and it's time to water. Sprinkle, you can use your hose. This is gonna be pretty hardy. So just like all the other things that I've got in the garden. Let me show you real quick one other thing. I put this the same way in these rock crevices when we first moved here six years ago. And they're all thriving really well. So you can plant in anything that has a crevice, sphagnum moss, chicken wire, wire it together, get your clippings and go for it. Um, talk to you later and hope this helps. Bye. Just wanted to record real quick the birds and Mr. Clyde's. Some babies, some babies.